have you ever wondered how a nuclear explosion would happen? Even the smallest nuclear weapon has a destructive power equivalent to 30,000 to 300,000 tons of explosives and can completely destroy a city. Nuclear weapons used to be a symbol of military might and national strength. The testing of nuclear weapons is the basis for the developed powers to test new designs as well as send political messages. Let's admire the close-up of U.S. and Russian nuclear weapon testing to see how the trusted power of nuclear weapons is. Close-up of U.S. and Russian nuclear weapons testing. It is known that nuclear weapons are weapons of mass destruction whose energy is caused by nuclear fission or fusion reactions. Nuclear weapons were first used at the end of World War II, when the United States Air Force dropped a fission bomb on the city of Hiroshima. Three days later, the U.S. Air Force continued to drop another fission bomb named Fat Man on the Japanese city of Nagasaki. These bombings killed about 200,000 people. Since the bombing, nuclear weapons have been detonated more than 2,000 times to test and show off their military might. Among them are two great powers processing dangerous nuclear weapons, the US and Russia. Both countries have tested nuclear weapons to determine the effectiveness, yield and explosive potential of their nuclear weapons. This testing of nuclear weapons helps to provide factual information on how the weapon works as well as how detonation is affected by different conditions and personnel, how structures and equipment are affected by a nuclear explosion. The Soviet Union tested its first nuclear device, the RDS-3. The bomb had a composite design with a plutonium core inside a uranium shell, delivering an explosive power of 41.2 kilotons. It was released and detonated at an altitude of 400 meters. The resulting flash can be seen from a distance of 170 km and sound is heard from the same distance. Footage of the test was filmed by an instrument tower 7.5 km above the ground. The explosion created a fireball with temperatures up to millions of degrees Celsius that hit up the sky. The released shock waves create shock waves that destroy everything around. In 1952, the United States also tested the first nuclear weapons technology of a bio device, codenamed IV Mind, in the Marshall Islands. It was the first successful test of a hydrogen bomb and had a capacity of 10.4 megatons. However, due to the size and fuel of the mind device, synthetic is unsuitable for use as a weapon. Weapon. It is intended only as an extremely cautious test to confirm theories for these incidents, exposed with a large explosive equivalent. Far from Ivy Mike, Castle Braver is the explosion that made America's name. At the time, it was considered the most powerful man-made explosion in history. It was the country's first lithium deuterium fuel thermonuclear weapon, which was activated in 1954. The main device was a cobra deuterium tritium gas enhanced atomic bomb. It was the country's first lithium deuterium fuel thermonuclear weapon which was activated in 1954. The main device was a Cobra deuterium tritium gas enhanced atomic bomb. The largest of them, in the form of a surface coral, pulverized from the explosion, fell on the inhabitants of Rangelab and Uteric Atolls, while the gaseous and granular fallout spread around the world. 
the Iceland's residents were not evacuated until three days later and fell ill with radiation sickness. The explosion provoked an international response to atmospheric fusion testing. Not to be outdone by the United States, the Soviet Union also flaunted its military might with the test of a hydrogen bomb, SAR bomber, with a capacity of 50 million tons of explosives. The bomb was detonated in 1961 at an altitude of 4,000 meters above the Novaya Zemlya archipelago. It was the largest nuclear weapon and is still the most powerful explosive device ever detonated in human history. A very wonderful and supernatural scene unfolded. A giant fireball lit up the sky and a mushroom cloud 60 km high rose from the explosion. The top of the mushroom spreading over an area that stretched for about 100 km from one end to the other. The flash was so bright that it could be seen at a distance of 1,000 km despite the cloudy sky. However, SAR bomber caused extensive environmental damage. The island's land surface was completely flattened. Everything in the area was melted and blown away. The village was about 55 km from the bomb site was also completely destroyed and radioactive pollution spread to many other countries. It can be seen that nuclear weapons have great destruction and destruction. Even though they are just experiments, the destructive power and level of impact on the environment and people are enormous. Just looking at the effects that the US atomic bombs dropped on Japan can understand how destructive and powerful the nuclear weapons are. Today's video comes to an end. Hopefully, the information we provide will help you better understand nuclear weapons and their harms. Don't forget to press the button to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video to support us. Thank you and see you in the next videos. Goodbye!